Hello. Gaia, you say hello. Hello. It sounds like children's television. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're, Maybe um, it is. <laughs> what is. It is children's television. You, you think it might be? They just, just, this just got onto the wrong webinar. Ah, so yeah, okay. Well, maybe there's a camera that's outside our window filming us for this kids' TV. Um, so we're, um, we're John and Gaia. I'm Gaia, and this is John. Uh, I'm John. <laughs> Speak a bit. Of, actually, we just, um, we're going to waffle a little bit at the beginning because we can see that lots of people are joining as we talk. So as I look, it's going up by one every couple of seconds. So um, as people join this kind of big webinar room, there's actually hundreds of you sitting there already. In fact, just to make sure that you are there, if you could just say hi to us, please. I didn't quite hear you. Just lean in a little bit closer to the microphone and say hi. No, actually, you're all on mute. We can't hear a flaming thing. <laughs> but I like the idea that you might have been saying hi to your computer or phone or whatever it is. Yes. Um, um, I was, you know, so this is welcome to this webinar. We're going to be here for a, about 90 minutes, and uh, we're talking about fuck it in times of trouble. Uh, and while whilst people join, I just want to tell you, I was thinking about what trouble I've been going through today, uh, and I can't say it's that heavy. <laughs> but my main my main bit of trouble was the shirt I was wearing. Ah yes, uh, I you was, didn't lie that shirt. No, I didn't. Morning. I had this. I had. Uh, I'll be polite about me and my kind. I was wearing a a, a fat boy shirt. That's not polite, is it? Uh, somebody of a larger size's shirt. <laughs> so I was wearing a shirt, a button-up shirt, that was kind of so big, uh, it's like a tent. You know those tents-like shirts that you see that kind of cover up the fact that you're very overweight? So I'm not really, really overweight. I'm no. I'm a stone overweight, aren't I? Two, two stone overweight. No. But which one? Less than a stone. Uh, stone and a half. No, less, less than, than two. a stone. Not less than a stone. You're very kind. Mm -hmm. It's not true. I'm probably about a stone and a half to two stone overweight um, for my ideal svelte shape. And uh, but I was wearing this shirt that was given to me as a present. Yeah, we've been hearing about that for the last ten years or so. <laughs> my usual <laughs> svelte shape. About as it, the, as it disappears into the, disappears into the past. So I'm wearing this shirt, this kind of tent-like shirt, which I didn't realise when I put it on was so tent-like. But I'm wandering around. We went down to the coast today to see our accountant. Our accountant lives on the coast. And we go there, and she's all relaxed and tanned, isn't she? Yeah. And she says to us... She's, she's very, very thin. She's very thin. She's very, very, wearing very, she very high heels. Very tight. She doesn't wear big tatty shirts like me. So very, she, very kind of thin clothes. She's thin clothes. She's tanned. She's relaxed. She's at the coast. She's at the beach. Not on the beach. I don't have a meeting on the beach in her office. She looks at us and she says, she has to talk about I, I taxes. Think, she I says, think we are more relaxed than her. No, I, you're going to ruin my story if I... Ah, okay, yeah. sorry. I, I, <laughs> so she tells us about our taxes and as we cough and splutter, uh, she says, oh, you're not looking very well, you two. You're looking a bit pale. And that's the situation really, isn't it? Yeah, you're raising your eyebrows at <laughs> me. Let me continue my tent. You need to finish about <clears throat> your shirt. Okay, how many people? Blimey, another 40 people have joined as I've even started to tell my tent shirt story. I think it's, not. it's John's tent shirt story that's attracting people into the <laughs> webinar. Anyway. They're, they're feeling the vibe of the great story can coming. I, just, I mean, need to get on, so let me just, let me just, let me just complete this thing. About Let's see if we can drag this story <laughs> I don't, I don't for want to drag 90 it on, minutes. I don't want to tell it. So this thing, it actually made me feel really uncomfortable. It was like I felt, it was weird, this kind of billowing shirt around me. It kind of lowered my self-esteem yeah, by a couple of notches. And I tell you, so it was weird. I just felt like too overweight and too. The thing is, it was billowing so much that I, people must have thought I was much bigger than I actually was. I actually wanted somebody to walk along the street and kind of lift the shirt up and say, "My goodness, you're thinner than I thought you would." Or, you know, if there's an accident or something, and I had to cut through my shirt, that have gone, "My goodness, he's not so obese as I thought he would have been." And um, so I went through all those thoughts today. And here's the weird thing, and this is the this is the end of the the shirt story. Yeah. We went out for we went to lunch today. I normally went to this this little kind of cafe. I'd normally have a little slice of pizza. Yeah. You know, because I'm kind of kind of trying to watch my weight and not have too much. What did I order? Two pizzas. No, I didn't. Not two. <laughs> I ordered a full pizza of sausage and, and extra mozzarella, which was much fattier and heavier than I normally would. Because I thought, well, what does it matter? I'm wearing my billowing tent shirt. Nobody's going to notice. So I reckon I put on more weight than I normally would have done because of my shirt today. Which I actually I've now I took it off about two hours ago. I threw it in the the basket and I'm now wearing a tighter shirt, which you makes are. it feel a lot more comfortable. That's very nice. Okay, so I think 
uh, a lot of you are in now, so we can get going. Um, <clears throat> so we're talking about, um, as you know, times of trouble and times of struggle. And there are a lot of you out there. <laughs> We've got hundreds of you there. So I'm just really, really weird. I'd love it if we could see each other and see how many people there are there. This is a, this is a, a slight visualization of, uh, of all of us together uh, in this kind of gig-like experience that we're going to have. Um, you can put your arms out like in the pictures and go, yay! You could. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to introduce the, the webinar in a second. We just wanted quickly to give you an introduction to us because we're aware that there are, we've got lots of friends, people that know us that are on this webinar, people that have been following us for a while. We've also, though, got quite a lot of new people. We can see, we can tell this, um, and quite a lot of people have come through Facebook and Twitter, et cetera, and have, uh, so are new to the kind of fuck it thing. So we're going to do a very, very quick introduction or background to us. Um, so as you know, we're John and Gaia. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we are husband and wife, and we're talking to you live from Italy. Um, and we first said fuck it, when we said fuck it to our jobs in London more than 10 years ago, and we came here to Italy to set up a retreat centre, um, actually on this hill that we're sitting on now. It was called the Hill That Breeds. Um, so we set that up, and within a year, we realized that saying fuck it to things was actually very therapeutic. You know, this phrase that was out, out there already clearly, we realized it could be very therapeutic. As therapeutic, in fact, as meditating and sitting in a psychotherapist couch for hours. Um, so we ran our first fuck it retreat 10 years ago, um, and it's pretty much to the week that we ran it. I think it was... It was either late June or July in 2005 that we ran our first Fuck It retreat. Um, I mean, and I wrote the first Fuck It book, which was Fuck It, The Ultimate Spiritual Way, later that summer, so just under 10 years ago, and then for about a year after that, fiddling with it. Um, and since then, the books, the, that first book was published about a couple of years after that. And since then, the book, so there was more than that book, there's Fuck It Therapy, there's about five books altogether. Um, the Fuck It books have sold more than half a million copies. They're in 22 languages, and we're still here, and we continue to teach Fuck It and Fuck It retreats. Uh, fuck It around the world, we teach Fuck It retreats here in Italy, and we do weekends in London and Ireland. Actually, you do one in Galway, don't you, every year? Yeah. Uh, and so that's it. We spend our lives, uh, when we're not on the beach, and I was exaggerating there, we do go to the beach quite a bit, um, doing this kind of thing, um, helping you guys use this irreverent philosophy, this phrase, this irreverent therapy to work things out uh, and feel better and feel freer. And enjoy it, your lives more. Yes. Introduction over. <laughs>